Hi, my name is Dennis. Cursor recently released a new major version 2.0 and it has a number of great updates. In this video, let's look at the most important updates and let's see how we can use them in our development process. The first new feature I'm going to talk about is the new agent view in the IDs. Once you updated Cursor to 2.0, you can see there are second tab agents here and you can switch to this agent tab. You can see that this window is focused more on the agent rather than on the standard view for the code editor. What's new here? So as previously, you can select agent plan ask here. Uh, you can select model here. Now here you can see the new thing 1x and if you click on it, um, it allows you to select how many runs of the agent you want to do. And the cool thing is you can select multiple models. So if you do 2x and you can click use multiple models, you can select, for example, Sonnet 4.5 and you can select GPT-5 codex, 1x for Sonnet, 1x for GPT-5 codex, and uh, it will run the task twice. And you can then compare the results of this task and uh, decide which one is better and then uh, continue with it. The second major update is that Cursor released their own model for coding agent, uh, which is called Composer. If you click here on the model selection, you'll see Composer 1. It's the first model that they released for uh, agents. What do you need to know about this model? It is slightly worse than uh, Sonnet 0.5 or GPT-5 codex, but it is way, way faster than those models. So I propose now let's try uh, the new model and also let's try this new functionality of running multiple agents in parallel. So let's select the 2x here. Uh, let's switch 1x for Composer and 1x for Sonnet 4.5. I have this project, Nutrition Coach. It allows me to upload an image and uh, click Analyze Nutrition and it will provide me with some nutritional analysis uh, food identification, how many calories, protein, carbohydrates, etc. some health assessment. The problem with this implementation, if I refresh the page, uh, it doesn't save the previous output of the model and the previous image. And let's say I want to ask the agent that I want to save those into a local storage of my browser. So when I refresh the page, I still see the same results I saw previously implement browser persistent feature, save input image and output in the browser local storage. Let's run this. You see two agents uh, running in parallel and you can switch between those and see uh, how the output is different for each of them. Okay, you can see both models, both agents finished uh, their work. If we click review, we can see all the changes done by the model we can switch to this agent and again see all the changes. So let's say I want to test Composer 1 changes. Uh, we need to click Apply All, so it will be applied to our main code base. And let's test in the browser whether the changes were applied and they actually work. I have this uh, image uploaded, I have this nutritional analysis. If I refresh the page, I still see the same image and the same nutritional analysis. Uh, which is exactly what we asked for. So pretty good. Obviously, if you want to preview changes in real life, uh, you tested the first agent, you can click undo apply and then switch to the second changes and apply these changes now and test uh, changes again. I think it's very useful when you do some UI work. So you want to have some redesign and you want to compare different versions. Uh, from different models obviously they all have their own styles and um, you can just preview changes and select what's uh, the best for your needs the next cool feature that was introduced is browser integrated right into ide if you click here uh, you'll see browser tab here and your browser will open uh, the web page you are developing in my case it's localhost 3000 what it basically can do is it can interact with the agent. So agent can make screenshots of this browser and do something about it. So what you can do with the browser is that first you can preview changes right inside the ID uh, if you want to. 
and also you can ask agent to make a screenshot to test something to click some button etc so i think it's still quite early to do fully automated uh, testing and uh, it works not quite well all the time but anyway it's um, the first step to more like agentic development where you give the task to implement something and to test something and then it goes and does it and test it and uh, provides you with just a report. Let's see how it works. Uh, let's, for example, ask the model to change the design to Cyberpunk. Change design of the page to Cyberpunk. Okay, so you can preview the changes now. Um, let's say I don't like colors, so I can ask it. I don't like colors, make a screenshot and change them to something more beautiful. Uh, I'm not a designer, so I don't know what to ask here, but let's uh, just ask it to make it more beautiful. You see the agent um, starts using the browser, capturing the screenshot, and now the screenshot is included into the context of the agent, and uh, it can see the current design not like a code, but as, as an image, so it can make uh, better decisions. You can see that the agent uh, finished its work and at the end after it updated the design it made a screenshot just to double check how new colors match together okay these were all changes in cursor 2.0 i wanted to show you today in the description of this video we will leave a link uh, to the full change log it has some other minor updates but uh, in this video I just wanted to focus on three most important uh, changes in the update. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time.